Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make this easy simple cowl. Now this is a one row repeat and it's very easy to do, perfect for beginners or for the seasoned crocheter. I also made another one in an orange color and I'll show you that picture right here and um, here it is in real life and I also made a matching beanie as well and I'll have to do another tutorial on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to make this easy cowl. For this project, I'm going to be using the Big Twist Static, and this is in the colorway Pink Multi, and there are 131 yards in this cake, and you'll need about one and a half cakes. You'll also need a six millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. This is a very simple pattern that you can do you know, if you're just learning how to crochet, or it's an easy pattern just to do over the weekend really quick if you need to make a quick gift or make a nice cowl for yourself. The only stitches you need to know are the single crochet, double crochet, chain, and slip stitch. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, make a slip knot. So you're going to take your yarn, put it over your fingers and make a cross. Take this loop and pull the working yarn through. Stick your hook inside of the loop and tighten up. That's your slip knot. Now you're going to chain 30. So just put the yarn over the hook. One, two, three, four, five. I'll meet you back when I have 30. Okay, I've got my 30 chains here and I'm ready to start my pattern. Now this is a really super easy pattern. We're going to start in the second chain from the hook, which is right here and we are going to do a single crochet. So just simply take your crochet hook and stick it underneath those first two loops, pull the yarn through, grab your working yarn, and then pull it through the two loops, just like that. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the same exact stitch. So you'll wrap it around, go through the two loops there, pull it through, wrap it around, pull through two loops, wrap it around and pull through the other two loops. Now there is your first Suzette stitch. The next thing you'll do is skip a stitch, skip the next one. The following stitch, you'll do the same thing. You're going to do a single crochet. Make sure you go underneath those two loops. Go around and pull through. Then we're gonna do a double crochet, wrap it around your hook, stick it in your stitch, pull it through, wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around and pull through two. So now we will follow this pattern all the way down the end of this chain by skipping a stitch and then placing a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch next to the skipped stitch all the way down. Okay, so we're going to skip this stitch right here and go into this stitch, making sure that we have two loops on our hook. Grab it, pull it through, wrap it around, pull through, and then do a double crochet in the same stitch. And as you can see, it's starting to build a pattern already. So go ahead and continue skipping a stitch and then placing a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch all the way down. And I will meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so now I've made it all the way down to the end of my chain. I have two stitches left, so I'm going to skip this stitch right here. And in the very last stitch, I'm just going to do one single crochet. Okay, so then we're going to chain one and turn the work. You can see the stitches starting to form a nice little pattern here. And now we are going to start our pattern over again. So in this very first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to do the same thing that we did with our last row. So skip a stitch, do a single crochet and a double crochet. That is all this cowl takes it's just those two simple stitches right there to make the pattern and you're just going to keep repeating it going back and forth just like I showed you chaining one 
and turning and you're going to go back and forth until your piece is 26 inches long. So after I get to the end of the second row, I'll come back and then I'll get you started on the third row and then we'll go from there and you can get started on your 65 rows. So here I am at the end of my second row. So I've got my uh, Suzette stitch cluster here, a space, and then we will do a single crochet at this very last stitch. Then we're gonna chain one, turn, and then we will start our pattern again. So here we are in our first stitch right here. We'll, go, we'll do our Suzette stitch cluster, single crochet and a double crochet. And then we're just going to keep working our way down, skipping a stitch and doing a single crochet and a double crochet uh, together in the same stitch, back and forth until your piece is um, 65 rows long or um, 26 inches in measurement. And then I will come back and show you how to complete the project. So just keep going back and forth and I'll see you soon. As you can see, this is almost 26 inches long. I just have to finish up this row right here and then we're going to get started putting this cowl together. <music> Okay, so we've reached our final stitch. We're just gonna go, go ahead and do our last single crochet right there. And now I'm going to add a stitch marker to this last stitch because we don't need to, um, we don't need to cut the yarn yet. So go ahead and add a stitch marker there. And then we're going to go ahead and um, fold this over a little bit on the top. I like to give it a little bit of a tug and kind of stretch it out a little bit first. And then we're going to fold over just like a little collar per portion. And I'll tell you about how much that is right now. It's about a two inch fold. So you'll want to go ahead, fold that over and then use some stitch markers to hold it in place. Just to hold it down on the edges and make sure that it's pretty straight. Okay, I have my stitch markers in place. I put one in the center and held it down here and then I put one on each end. So now this is where you can decide how you want your seam to look. On the one that I did, the um, mustard color one, I made it so that you could see the seam. It looks kind of like a braid on the outside. Or you could always do an invisible seam, but you will kind of see a little indentation there. But um, that's up to you, depending on how you want to um, have your cowl look. So if you want to do it so that your seam is on the outside, You will just go ahead with the fold facing out. You will go ahead and slip a stitch this together. So if you did not want your seam to show, you would go ahead and uh, use your stitch markers to uh, hold this closed. And then you would turn it inside out and seam it together. And then when you were done, you would flip it back right side out and then your seam would be hidden. So you would not see this little braid. Uh, stitch the little um, you would not see this little slip stitch braid right here so that's completely up to you so that is the only thing we have left to do for this cowl is to seam it up so I like to um, take the stitch markers and hold the corner in place on each side so we'll hold that together there And then you just basically slip stitch all the way down. So we already have some yarn here. Um, we never cut it off. So what I'm going to do is just um, bring it up to the top here and then start slip stitching this together. So let's go ahead and do that. Before I do that, I think I'm going to 
um, connect this together here in the middle just so that it stays straight. And you can already see how your cowl is going to look. It's so pretty. I just love this yarn. I cannot stop talking about how much I love it. And I've used about, oh, I've used probably about three quarters of this second uh, cake. So go ahead and stick your hook in where you had left off your last stitch and you can take your stitch marker out there. And now I'm going to just kind of um, slip stitch my way through this cowl part just to kind of secure that. And I'm going to go up and just slip stitch it just to hold it nice and tight. Pull that through and get up to the very top corner. Let me take this stitch marker out. This might not be how everybody does it, but this is how I do it. So now that I have my hook through all four corners of this top of the cowl, I'm going to wrap my working yarn around the hook and then I'm going to grab it and pull it through both sides here. So now that we've made it up to the top, we're going to stick this in both sides of the stitches here for the cowl. And it takes a little bit of work just to kind of get it through both uh, layers. Grab your working yarn and pull it through both of the layers and then the loop on your hook. Go ahead and slip stitch it through there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off these extra stitch markers. And we just kind of want to hold that in place and make sure that we uh, keep it nice and in line. Now take it your hook and stick it through both of the layers of your cowl. Grab your working yarn, pull it through, and then pull through your slip stitch. Now you just want to make sure that you go through all four layers here while you're on the collar. Pull it through and then slip it through that slip stitch here. Okay, this should be the last one for the collar. Just make sure you go through all four layers. Grab that yarn, pull it through and slip stitch. And then you're going to work your way down, make, grabbing both layers on either, slide, on either side and slip stitching it all the way down. You'll be able to see the little chain stitches here and just grab it, slip them through, pull it and pull down. And since we have our stitch markers, it should stay nice and flat and even for you. So just go ahead and work all the way down slip stitching your cowl together and I will meet you back when I'm done. Okay so we're working our last couple of slip stitches and we're going to close up this cowl for good. All we have left to do is weave in our ends and we will be done with this cowl. So now that you've made it to the bottom just go ahead and we'll cut it and make a little knot there and weave in our ends. So now we have both of our ends that we started and ended with. Here's our little seam going up the back and our collar and our cowl is ready just to have our ends weaved in and we are ready to put it on. So here we go. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed making this cowl as much as I did. I've already made two and I might make more. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If you like diamond painting, make sure you check out my other channel, Diamond Painting with Laura.